Hey guys, my name is Delanka from Astroprint and today I'm going to show you how to use Octoprint along with Astroprint. So the way we're going to do that is by first installing the Astroprint plugin from the official Octoprint uh, repository. Now the main reason we would want to install this plugin is to basically enable cloud functionality on your Octopi. Uh, with this plugin you'll be able to remotely start and stop prints as well as monitor. Uh, you could access your printer that's connected to your Octopi from anywhere around the world using the Astroprint cloud platform. Um, you could also slice files in the cloud um, without having to uh, slice it locally then upload the G-code or anything like that. Uh, we use Kira Engine on our side so that's definitely possible and as well as uh, access your Octopi connected printer from Astroprint Mobile which is a mobile app that's cross-platform, works on Android and um, iPhone. Um, as soon as your Octopi connected printer is connected to the Astroprint cloud ecosystem with this plugin, any of our products could be basically used to access your printer. And our plans are, there's a paid plan on Astroprint, but uh, there's also a free plan, up to two printers, and that covers about 90% of the people. Um, so there's no need to pay. It's, it's free of charge if you're a regular home user. Okay, so the process of installation is fairly simple. You go to the settings under on your Octopi. Then you go to the plugin manager. So here you'll see the uh, plugins that are already installed. I'm using, I installed the GPX plugin because I'm using a Sailfish printer. So if you're running a Sailfish printer, you might want to install this. And if you see uh, our Astroprint plugin here also in the future, and if you want to remove it, you could remove it through the plugin, um, plugin manager. Okay? So next step is to click Get More. And from here, we're going to simply search for Astroprint. You just do Astro, and this is the plugin. We're going to install it. It's going to do its thing, and while it's doing its thing, um, I'm going to go here real quick. So one quick note before I uh, go through the Octoprint connection. If you're using a Sailfish printer like I am, the GPX plugin on the Octopi um, will make sure that you could print with X3G files, which is what Sailfish uses. Um, however, you want to make sure that you're sending G code uh, from Astroprint, not X3G, because there uh, that is a possibility on Astroprint. So here's my FlashForge Creator Pro, uh, the regular printer. I've also created an, an extra one called uh, Creator Pro for Octoprint, and uh, it's basically a printer profile. Uh, these settings are uh, preloaded, by the way. You don't have to deal with it. So here, on the print form, uh, file format, I basically switch from X3G to G-Code. So make sure if you're using a Sailfish printer, you switch to G-Code uh, and save it. Okay? All right, so the plugin's done. I'm going to close it. I'm going to restart the Octoprint instance. And while it's restarting, let me give you a quick overview of uh, the Astroprint dashboard. Okay? So there's a file manager here for uh, managing your files through the cloud and there's obviously all um, this whole thing is you know responsive and you could access it from any uh, web enabled device you could organize your projects um, and import and print d uh, designs directly from Thingiverse you could also do print captures time lapses you could look at your print history and metrics um, for example, if you go here, it'll show you, uh, um, you know, filaments and filament used and print time and print jobs completed, etc. Um, the print queuing is a premium feature for paid uh, the paid user account, so you're probably not gonna uh, um, need this unless you're like a heavy power user or you really need that feature. Um, so this is basically the main reason a lot of a lot of you will be installing. Uh, the Astroprint plugin on your Octopi. Okay, so we're basically going to connect, 
connect the Octopi to Astroprint. Cool. So this is basically the plugin. Um, as you can see right here, it says open Astroprint tab. You can go here. So you need the access key to connect your Octopi to the Astroprint cloud. Um, just click on the you can find it here link. So this is under settings. If you want to manually go here, it's under this tab or this icon rather. You scroll all the way down. And I'm simply going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to click link Astroprint account. So now there's the Astroprint tab here. Wait, hold on, did it link? Maybe it didn't. Okay, cool. So this is what we need actually. Maybe it didn't the last one didn't work. So you're basically giving uh, permission on our side. So it should say Astroprint login successful, okay, over here. Now once you go to the tab, it'll basically load all your files from your file manager. And a uh, quick side note, all these files are in sync with all the devices or all the apps within the Astroprint ecosystem. So it doesn't matter what device or what app you're using to access our platform, uh, you'll always get the most up-to-date, you know, the same exact synchronized version of the files. Anyway, so we come here, you see the cloud designs here. Um, now, since we're in the local Octopi, you can always download the STL files if you wanted to, but that kind of defeats the entire purpose of this plugin. So what I'm going to do is basically, well, first I'm going to show you that we are linked to our Octopi. So if you go to monitor, you can see that this is an Octoprint or Octopi connected printer, the Flash Forge Creator Pro in this case that we're looking at through the Astroprint cloud, through the Astroprint plugin for Octopi. So now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna initiate a print. I'm actually gonna do a cloud slicing job also to show you how, uh, I'm gonna try to maybe print a whistle. So if you're used to Kira, um, we use Kira Engine on our cloud slicer. And you should be able to uh, duplicate the results you get from Kira. OK, so this is our file. I'm going to say go to print, uh, create print file. I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I choose creator pro for Octoprint. Remember, we changed the printer profile to send G code instead of X3G for the Sailfish printer because uh, because of this guy right here the so I have this plugin the, G, the GPS plugin all right so I'm here these are the main uh, primary settings step one two three choose a printer choose a material print quality right if you're an advanced user you can go to advanced slicer settings and there's a you can change infill speed uh, a whole bunch of things refraction uh, retraction rather um, if you're printing with you know uh, color fabs metal metallic uh, filament things like that anyway so I'm gonna hit print it's gonna give you an estimate on time and uh, we are simply going to click print now and I'm gonna select the octopi as the destination and the cloud slicer is going to slice it. It's going to send G code to the Octopi in this case. And the GPX plugin is going to take care of the X3G for the Sailfish. And the print should start. And I should be able to monitor this print from anywhere around the world with any device, uh, including using Astroprint Mobile, Astroprint Desktop, uh, etc. By the way, I'm also going to link to a blog post below this video, which will have a text version, and probably more in-depth version of this 
video along with uh, relevant links go to monitor so as you can see the printer is heating up it works great um, and after it's uh, done heating up the printer start here and you could do a time lapse here if you're interested um, so that's how it works I hope you enjoy it I hope that's helpful if you have any questions the fastest way to get a hold of us would be through Twitter or our forums you'll see the link below and uh, feel free to ask any questions thanks so much